So it's been a little while since I've done anything on this channel dealing with the color page, so I decided I was gonna do that today. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to let you know about my website, jrtv.com, where we have hundreds of different templates available for DaVinci Resolve 17, 16, and 15. All of them are backwards compatible with the newest version of DaVinci Resolve. If you haven't taken a look, the selection of templates is pretty diverse with everything that you would typically think when you think templates, everything from titles, transitions, infographs, logo stings, slideshows, video displays, video effects, compositing elements, as well as a bunch of color pre set tools specifically for DaVinci Resolve's color page. If you're interested in taking a look for yourself, there's a link in the description. I jumped over and picked up a picture quick. I picked up this one. And the reason why I picked it up is because I felt like the colors in this were a bit off. There's this weird blue, I don't know how it would have ever gotten there, but it's like a blue on all of the brick. So I decided that I was gonna remove that and give this a more of a vintage look, almost like it was filmed on film. Um, so I uh, just downloaded that, dropped it into DaVinci Resolve, and these are the couple of nodes that I did. So the first one, I really wanted to get rid of this blue look here. So what I did is I went over, uh, within my curves, we go over to Hue versus Saturation, and I'm going to pull this blue completely out. I wanna remove all the saturation in the blue uh, for all of this. So I first did that. And doing that got rid of the majority of the problem, right? But I noticed that there was still a little bit of blue there and it wasn't really the same color as the rest of this stuff, right? So the next one I did is hue versus hue. So that takes one color that you have and it switches it over to a completely different color. So we're taking this blue here, as you can see the spike here of the blue. And when we put that on here, we're jumping it right over to the yellow. So you can see that we're now getting rid of all that blue and now we're making it almost look like that concrete that, that uh, yellow-ish tone to it. And I got away doing this because we don't really see the sky here. It's kind of like blown out. So we don't really have to deal with uh, that sky there. So that was kind of an easy way to go about doing that. Then the next one, I actually did two things on here. The first one is within the wheels, I just added a small amount of red. If you're not comfortable with the wheels, if you're dealing with the mouse and you're adding little increments like this, I always tell people to go over to the bars because it makes it just a little easier. Bars are kind of like the old school way of color grading, but it allows you to change individual channels instead of pushing towards a color. Um, so that was the first thing I did. The other thing that I did is I wanted to uh, work on the saturation because if you are, excuse me, the luminance, because if you work on the luminance of like that, that particular color, I could make enrich it. So we're going to be adding a little more red to the, to the shot, all this highlight ish stuff. And then we're going to pull down anything that is yellow reddish, and that's going to give it more of like a richer look. So we add that on it and I feel like that just looks a lot better. And then if you have the studio version, I believe this is only in the studio version, is we're using uh, the res one of the resolve effects, which is green. We add that on there and you probably can't really see it much. If I, I can turn it on and off and you can see it a little bit, it just adds that little bit of uh, texture to the shot. So if this was actually like a moving image, uh, with that green being added and it also being animated, it would really give more texture to this and really take it from this clean, uh, pristine look to that more of like a gritty film look that you typically see. So if I take everything off, I like if we look at this and it looks great, if I take everything off here, that's everything off that, you know, we're getting that bluish and, you know, maybe there was, I, 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 don't, I don't really see how this would have been this blue. I might have seen a little bit of a tint, but I'm guessing that there was a big sky behind and uh, maybe the blue sky was reflecting off of it, the pet, you know, the way in which the camera was facing or something like that, because we still do have like really, uh, you know, deep dark, uh, like reds and yellows and stuff. So I don't really know what happened with this, but I definitely feel that this looks significantly better. So. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this interesting. I know some people have never even used any of the other curves. So I thought that, hey, let me throw this in there. Cause a lot of the times, a lot of videos that I see uh, online, at least when I was starting, 
uh, and I was watching these videos, a lot of people use like masks and they, they, they do work on static shots like this, but when you start to add in like masks and stuff, then you have to start to uh, track that and whatnot. And it just really makes shots really complicated. And when at the end of the day, you're trying to move stuff as fast as possible, sometimes, you know, you would like to have a little area a little darker than everything else. If you have the time to throw it in there and add a mask and, and track it and all, by all means do that but in a lot of situations personally i like to use the curves as much as possible they're very powerful in what they're capable of doing but yeah that's my two cents there's a hundred different ways to color and i decided that i was going to throw a color video up because i just haven't done one in so long and uh yeah why not <laughs> And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you guys haven't used the other curves, by all means, take advantage of them because they are extremely powerful. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the end of it for me for this one. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys kind of, if you guys like this color stuff, I will uh, create more stuff like this. But with that being said, my name's JR. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.